A presentation, just like everything else you do, requires careful planning and preparation. Before you give a presentation, you should make sure that you're well versed in the subject that you're going to be presenting on and that you've carefully prepared your presentation slides if you're using them. I've got two videos about those aspects, so go and check those out if you're not sure about how to get started. Assuming though that you know what you're going to be talking about, that you have a good plan and an excellent set of slides, then how do you actually deliver the presentation? Well, before you head off to give the talk, you need to do a little bit more preparation. This is some preparation of yourself. First, consider making some notes on small cards. And I say use card rather than paper, that way it doesn't flap if you have nervous hands. Keep the notes to bullet points. Use these as prompts. There's nothing worse than listening to someone simply reading from a sheet of paper, and bullet points will help you sound much more natural. And now practice. Make sure you read through your presentation aloud. Use any visuals that you might be using in the real event. And if possible, get a friend to help with this, or maybe try videoing yourself so you can see how you come across. Practice will mean that you don't need the cards so much, and this is gonna help you feel much more confident when you're out there giving the real presentation. Once you're feeling happy, it's time to go and deliver your work to an audience. However, remember, the delivery of your presentation starts long before you open your mouth. To start well, you should ensure that you arrive in good time and enter the room and approach the stage with a smile. This will help, you relax, uh, this will help relax your audience, but it also produces endorphins that are going to help you relax too. Be sure to introduce yourself before you start talking. And then as you proceed through your talk, keep your body language open. Don't fold your arms. Don't hide behind the lectern or face the screen or up behind your notes. Make eye contact with people in the room. If you're worried about this and them distracting you, then just look at people's foreheads. They'll still feel like you're looking at them and then they'll engage more with your talk. Do make sure you look around the room. Don't stare at just one person. You don't want people to think that you're a bit creepy. Think about how you use your voice during your talk. Slow, deliberate sentences are good to make clear points, but they can become dull if the whole talk is slow. Keep an eye on your time and ensure that you reach a strong conclusion. You don't want to run out of time before you make your final killer point. Make sure that if you're using slides, you leave your conclusion up on the screen at the end. This is much more useful to the audience than the words thank you or a long list of references. And then don't run away at the end. But thank the audience for listening, accept any applause and smile as you leave the stage. If it's an assessed talk, you may be given feedback right away. So be prepared to make some notes or to answer questions before you leave. Of course, we all get nervous giving presentations. The difference between those who let the nerves get the better of them and those who don't comes in the preparation and in the prior research for the work. Before you make any presentation, it's really important that you are absolutely clear about what you want people to take away at the end. And if you do that, you'll enjoy it more and so will your audience.